Okay, now that we've uh, picked from the garden, we're going to start the actual cooking. So what we've got here is, is a rump of lamb, which my butcher sources directly from Lampeter. All of my meat comes from within a, a 10 mile radius of the hotel. And what I do, once I've prepared it, I've taken it off the bone, I marinate it with just some sliced garlic and some thyme, which we picked earlier. And then we're just going to season with salt and pepper, both sides. And then into a hot pan. So a little bit of oil, so it's getting plenty of heat. And then we put it, the fat side down, just to help remove any more of the fat. Once we've got a sufficient colour, I'll turn that over and roast it in the oven for about five to ten minutes, which when we pick it out and then we'll rest it. So when that goes in the oven, we will revisit that afterwards. If you look at that there, you see that lovely colour that we've got on there? And then we're just going to put that into the oven. Okay, I'm going to move on to a mackerel terrine dish, which I've already sliced it because it makes life a lot easier. So you see there the colour, we build that up with mackerel that has just been cooked just nice and pink and confit peppers and courgettes and then I press that into a terrine and then when we serve we finish that off with a cornell of horseradish cream and I make this by reducing grated fresh horseradish with some double cream until it forms a nice thick consistency like this. Then to serve the dish, the beetroot that I picked in a, uh, a few moments ago, we're just gonna, I've, I've cooked it, poached it very gently for about 10 minutes until it's just tender. And then I've cut it down to shape. And I'm just going to slice it into nice little thin slices so that we can then dress it around the plate like so. Then I've got the leaf, which is grown for me by a local supplier uh, about four or five miles away. And we have various different types. I've got uh, red vein sorrel. Uh, we've got potato frill, which is a beautiful herb. It works really, really well. The starchy flavor works really well with the mackerel. And we've got then the colorful red amaranth which has a really nice, rich, dark, deep flavor. So what we're going to do is, I've got a lemon dressing, which is lemon juice and olive oil, and that's it. It does it in a little bit of salt and pepper, but that's all that goes into it. Right. It just keeps the freshness of the flavor together. So we just dress that, and then onto the plate, just a little bit, just around like that using the, the leaf to speak forward for itself. Okay, and then we've got the lemon dressing that we dressed the leaves with earlier, which we're just gonna just drizzle around the edge of the plate, just to finish off, okay? Okay, the lamb now has been in the oven roasting for about eight minutes, so we're just gonna take that out that's lovely and pink that so as you can see we're going to leave that now onto my tray there just to rest for about five minutes before we can carve what I'll do in the meantime as well these are confit garlic and shallots which are cooked nice and slowly in rosemary oil that we make from the herbs in the garden as well I'm just going to warm those through in the oven okay moving on we're now going to do the mackerel at uh, the sorry the scallop dish uh, I'll put my pan on to get that nice and hot and the plate ready to go. So the scallops, which these are from uh, Nevin up in North Wales, uh, they are diver caught and they're landed ready, they're, they're caught specifically for me and other chefs that are lucky enough to know the suppliers. So we season again, just nice and lightly, a little bit of salt and pepper. These are just so fresh. They're absolutely beautiful. 
They need very, very, very little cooking. Again, hot pan with the oil. We just want that to be really, really hot so that when it hits the pan, the scallops, if you can hear that, that sizzle. That's what we want when the scallops hit the pan. So they're bouncing about because it's in because it's nice and hot. Right, the next stage. We've got a carrot puree, carrot and orange puree here, which is a lovely vibrant colour. And I make that just by poaching carrots, orange juice and butter. When it's cooked, we blitz it in a, a, a liquidizer, a food liquidizer, and pass it through a fine sieve. So I end up with that lovely smooth texture. That we just warm through on the stove. And then we're going to make the dressing. So we have some banana shallots. So a nice sharp knife for this. So we finely chop the shallots. And just so you end up with really nice, fine, small pieces. The scallops now, they've been on there for one minute. And we just got that lovely deep colour on them. Right, the chopped shallots we're going to put into the bowl. Then I've got a little bit of cherry tomato, which I've de-seeded. And I'm just going to dice that down very small. Okay, then we're just going to finish this off. The dressing is just literally chopped tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, chopped shallots, and this is coriander oil. And I make that just by liquidizing coriander, fresh coriander from the garden, and some olive oil. Then you get that lovely, deep, rich green color. So we're going to mix that through. Just like that. A little bit of salt and pepper. And that dressing is ready to go. Okay, so the lamb is now plated up. Uh, we've got the carrots that we picked in the garden, some leeks, some confit carrot, uh, shallot and garlic that I put in the oven earlier. And all that remains to do is finish the sauce, which is made from the lamb bones rosemary and shallots and it's a reduction and it just finishes makes the dish absolutely rich beautiful and complete okay and then to finish off the dessert this is Panlan Las raspberries which is about five miles away and it's layered up it's a raspberry full layered with cream fresh raspberries and a fresh raspberry coulis and then we serve it with a beautiful fresh homemade creme fraiche sorbet and there we go